This is a 2016 Mercedes-Benz GLE. It's an ordinary one though, as you can see by the title. This is a GLE 63S. And it is fantastic. It's better than an X5M, in my opinion. And in this video, I'm gonna give you five reasons why I say that. Let's start off by jumping in and taking it for a drive. The main reason, main, main reason, why, as soon as I jumped in this car and said, this car is better than an X5M, is because it's not as compromised. Compromisation is the main reason why I personally wouldn't buy an X5M. Good car, but what's the point of an SUV? An SUV is a practical, nice, comfortable car to drive in there. You get a performance SUV that's also practical, comfortable, nice to drive, but has performance aspect, lots of power, fair handling, better handling than normal SUVs. Now, with the GLE, you don't lose as much of that sense of comfort as you do in an X5M. Whenever I review an M car, mainly the MSUVs, I always say that I take the 50i version, the M50i version over the M. Reason being, nice power, very fast also, but it's comfortable. That's the point. You're driving these cars usually for long distance. Why do you want a car that bounces around the road, that's jerky, that's not as comfortable? It doesn't make sense to have that compromise, you know? And with the GLE, this specific car, the S is even harder, should be, than the normal one, but it's still comfortable, hey? You've got adaptive suspension, but in comfort mode, it's really comfortable for what it is. Nowhere near as bumpy or as harsh as an X5M. Obviously, it's not perfect. It is an AMG at the end of the day, so if you hit a bump hard or you hit a bottle hard, you do feel a bit of a judder through the suspension. It's not like it's, it's a Rolls Royce, not like it's an S-Class even, but for what it is, it's not compromised, to be honest. It's nice and comfortable. The seats are fantastic. And you've got all the creature comforts that you'd ever want, which you also get in an X5M. Heated seats, cooled seats, massage seats in this car even. I'm not sure if an M comes with massage seats or if you can offer it. And that just makes this car a better package overall. It's got everything and you don't have to give up comfort or sacrifice luxury, soft drivingness in exchange for nice power. The GLE has got a lot of personality, as I'm saying. If you give it a little bit of a touch, actually, it'll actually get excited to see you, even. All right, so besides that, this is the next reason why it is just fantastic. These model of GLEs, if I can find the bonnet clip, there she is have the same engine that's in my CLS 63, a 5.5 litre twin turbocharged V8. It's a beauty, it's amazing and it makes quite a bit of power. 577 horsepower in the S model and 760 newtons of torque. Merck say 0 to 100 in around 4.2 seconds. Let's test that out while we're at it. I don't think there's any launch control in this car. I have checked online I can't find anything you know if there is a proper launch control mode let me know so what we're we gonna do sport plus and let's see what it does from 0 to 100 got the draggy running and that's a hundred 4.58 seconds not bad I mean these are far from ideal conditions let's be honest 4.58 I'm sure we can get a 4.4 I'm sure we can it's showing the quarter mile in 12.7 but I think I let off a little bit before the end so not bad 4.6 seconds 0 to 100 and it sounds freaking fantastic the next thing that really sets this car apart from the M is the gearbox you can have an amazing engine and not have an amazing gearbox the level of responsiveness and sharpness i would say is pretty much on the level with that of the m maybe at maybe two percent slower but it sounds so much nicer and the main thing that sets this gearbox apart from that is the reliability of this those cars if you decide to put a little bit more power in them you're going to rip that gearbox to smithereens with this car the seven speed you have nice smooth slow driving which you don't have in the m it's a bit jerky and you have that sense of reliability which nowadays and any days is quite an important one next reason
And the last point I want to end on is a point we touched on with the gearbox. It is the fact that this car has reliability over the X5 and X6M. Firstly, we said the gearbox. This car's gearbox is much stronger, much more reliable. Secondly, the car in general is stronger than the BMW. The engine is bulletproof. I've done about 20,000 kilometers with the CLS, which is basically the same engine as this, with the software, with an exhaust running almost 700 horsepower, hasn't missed a beat. It is a bulletproof engine. And it is just, the way it delivers its power is, is amazing. And it, you wouldn't think that such a high performance, powerful engine can be as reliable as it can, but it just is. And you can't say that about BMW, you just can't. Those engines are a bit more on the edge, but they just like to break, unfortunately. Look, every car has its faults. Eh? This car does too. With regards to reliability, these cars over time, the air suspensions tend to trouble a little bit, especially as they get older, they tend to have leaks and stuff like that. So that is something you've got to watch out for on these cars. But there's something about this car. There's something about the package it is. The first time I jumped in and I drove it, I'm like, oh my word, I've driven lots of cars, lots of SUVs over the years. You guys know that. And this package, with the sound, the comfort it has, and the way it just, ah, oh, it just appeals to me personally. It's just such a nice car to drive. And that sound, I can't get over that sound. The X6 and the X5M, you struggle to drive them enjoyably at low speeds, like we said in the beginning of the video. But this kind of car, you can enjoy it at slow speeds, at fast speeds. It's just, it's enjoyable overall. As a package, I feel it's better than the X5M, the X6M, even the X3M Comp, even though that's another different segment. I haven't driven the GLC 63S, but it'll be interesting to see how that car moves. So stay tuned in the future, maybe we get one of those. Well, it'll be interesting to see what you guys think of this video. Do you guys agree with me? Do you disagree? Do you want to be wrong? And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.